All right, so x minus y equals 4 and 2x plus y equals 8, we're going to solve by elimination, right? So just to remind everybody, elimination is where you, you add the equations together to make one of the variables cancel. So for example, if you had like a 3x and a negative 3x, and you added those together, you would get 0x or just 0, and the x's would go away. Or if you had a negative 7y and a plus 7y, you add the equations together and you get 0y or just 0, right? So we want that type of situation to occur. So, um, quick question, if you had a negative x, what would you add to get 0? Plus x, right? If you had a, a y, what would you add to y to get 0? Negative y, good. y and negative y make 0, good. So, can we see anything, can we see anything that we should try to work on to make that happen in this equation? Lovely. The y's will cancel out. Good. Because we already have a negative y and a positive y. So the first step here is just add them. Because we can already see that these, these guys, y's are going to cancel. Right? So this is a 1x. So 1x and 2x. 3x. Lovely. And then negative y plus y. It's 0. I'll just plug in 0. It doesn't matter. Equals... 12, right, so in other words, we've got 3x equals 12. So solve that for x, and then find y. Nope, you got to get x on its own, x equals something. So you got to divide by 3, right? So x equals 4, right? Um, so we've got x is 4, now we've got to solve for y. So um, there's we can either plug the 4 into the top equation or the bottom equation, it doesn't matter. Right. So the top is x minus y equals 4. So something, the x minus y equals 4. And we already figured out that x is 4. So we just plug that in for x, right? So we have x equals 4. We're trying to find y now. So take your time and solve that for y. No problem. So um, we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. And we get negative y equals 4 minus 4. four 0. Negative y equals 0. Okay, with that? Okay, so what now? Nope, that's negative y. How do you get positive y? Divide by negative 1. Right, so y equals 0 over negative 1, y equals 0, right? So x is 4, y is 0. Um, and just for fun, I'm going to show everyone that you could have picked the other equation as well. That would have worked as well. And this is a kind of way to check things anyway. So we had x is 4. So 2 times 4 plus y equals 8. Find what y is. 2 times 4 plus y equals 8. Find y in that equation. Yeah, go through the steps though. Yeah, 
Yeah, go through the steps. So 2 times 4, 8, plus y equals 8. And then, right, subtract 8 from both sides. y equals 0, right? You with that? Good. So x is 4, y is 0. I mean, you can write the answer like this. 4, 0. That's like x, y, right? <laughs> x is 4, y is 0, right?